Testament scripture reading this morning will come from 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verses 14 through 16 and it reads, If my people who are called by my name will umber themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. The New Testament scripture reading will come from Mark chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Let us go to God in prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we acknowledge all that you are. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are our way maker. You are our strength in the time of weakness, God. You are everything we need you to be, God, and more. We thank you, Father, for all that you're doing right now, all that you're going to do, and all that you've done. We come to you confessing our sins, God, knowing that there is no one else who is able to forgive the way you can, oh, Father, oh God. So we ask, God, that you would forgive us for the things that we've done, God, unknowingly and knowingly, God. We ask that you would cleanse our hearts of all unrighteousness, oh God, and set us on a path of righteousness, Father. We thank you for all that you're doing in this time, oh God. We thank you for ordering our steps in your word, oh God. We thank you for making miracles happen, God, that we never thought could happen, God. We thank you for making a way when there was none, oh God. We thank you for healing, God, and help and strength, God, for there are so many that don't have it, God. We thank you for a roof over our head, God. We thank you for food on our table and clothes on our backs, God. We thank you for a strong pastor and first lady, oh God. We thank you for praying deacons, God. We thank you for all that you've equipped us with, oh God. We ask that you would continue to, to endow your presence upon us, oh God, in our everyday walk with you, Father. We thank you, God, that you are making crooked places straight, God. We thank you that you are delivering, God, people that have been in bondage, oh God. You are doing what only you can, oh God. And we are thankful, God. We are grateful because it is only you, oh God. No one compares to you, oh God. There's nobody like you, God. And we worship the true and the living God who does what only he can do, oh God. We thank you, God, for keeping the darkness back on our behalf, God. We thank you for breaking things in the spirit, oh God. We thank you for breaking stuff, God, that has been in our family for a long time, God. Generational curses, God. We ask that you continue, God, to break, God, and transform and bring in, God, and take away, oh God. We trust your plan for our lives, God, so we put our, our life in your hands, God, knowing that you will do what only you can do, oh God, knowing that you know the plans you have for us, God, so we don't worry about what's to come, oh God, because we know, God, your words has to cast our cares upon you for you care for us, oh God. So we know when we go through life, there's no temptation that has overtaken us and such is common to man. But you are faithful and you are just to deliver us out of them all, oh God. So we continue to call in the promises of your word, God. For we know, God, that before a jot or a tittle of your word will fail, heaven and earth will pass away. So we thank you, God, for your word, God. We thank you that when we're going through life, God, and we don't know what to do, we can call on the name. For there is something about your name, God. A name that is higher than every name, oh God. A name that's above every name, God. You are good and you are worthy to be praised. So we thank you for all that you're doing in our lives, oh God, and all that you are continuing to do. And it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Berin Tabernacle Baptist Church, news, updates, and events. Thank you for joining us live. Our mission statement reads, We engage ourselves to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ in both voice and vitality, to the extent that all believers would experience spiritual maturity and further expand the same ministry of the kingdom and mission of God's grace to the masses. Please remember to drop off your non-perishable items. Option one for e-giving is e-giving through Giveify. Please remember to click the green button that says give. Option two, giving by drop off. Please remember to use the envelopes and come at the times provided. Option three, giving by the mail. Please remember to use the PO box listed. Coronavirus prevention. Please avoid close contact, avoid touching, and you wash your hands. You may visit our YouTube page at Berin Tabernacle BC. Our website can be reached at www.berintabernacle.co. Upcoming events. Next Sunday is Lord's Supper. Angel Tree, thank you for all your contributions. Every gift has been purchased. Youth Bible Study and Pastor's Bible Study will resume January 2021. This has been your news, updates, and events. God bless and keep you.